Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day three of haul week. How are we here already? This is going so quick. If you are new to my channel, however, we are currently in the middle of haul week. That means that I am uploading seven videos back to back this week all hauls, all different brands. You're gonna be seeing so many different clothing items on this channel. So if that sounds like a bit of you, then definitely hit subscribe down below before you leave. As you can tell by the title, I am back with one of your faves. I haven't done one of these for so long, but we are back today with a Pretty Little Thing haul. Honestly, it's one of my faves too. I absolutely love Pretty Little Thing. I have gone above and beyond for this video and I spent near enough 530 pounds on this haul, which obviously is absolutely ridiculous, but there was just so much cute stuff in there that I wanted to show you guys. And the whole point of haul week is showing you everything that I'm loving at the moment. So of course a lot of this stuff is going to go back. Please don't think that I'm going to be keeping it all. I just wanted to get a good variety to show you guys. But I am just going to cut this intro here and we're now going to jump straight into the haul. So if you've seen the first video in haul week, you would have heard me say that there is like a railing behind you guys of all of the clothes. Pretty Little Thing takes up half of the top rail. We have so much to get through, but I'm so excited because I have so much swimwear in here. Their swimwear is unreal at the moment, so I'm really intrigued to try it out. But we also have some cute dresses. We've got some travel outfits, which means loungewear, which means happy Emily. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna start with this item. So the first piece that I picked up is this gorgeous little broidery crop top. I am obsessed with this style at the moment. In a video that I did with Georgia on her channel, I was wearing a top that was similar to this style, but it was actually from Rebellious. So when I saw this on PLT's website, I had to have it, of course. I am literally going to be so brief with every item when I talk about it because we have too much to get through and I want you guys to be able to see everything and not get ridiculously bored. So just to briefly mention, all of the prices and the sizes will be left on screen along with the website images so you guys can compare how it was advertised online versus how it actually looks in real life. And every single thing that I show you guys will be linked down in the description so you can shop everything that you see in this haul from the description box. But yeah, this is the first item that we have to try on. This is cute. This is just what I wanted it to look like. And honestly, it's like the most comfortable little top to put on. I have literally just paired it with these high-waisted blue jeans. This is the type of vibe that I would go for. And I'd probably throw this on with either some slides or some trainers on the cooler days in spring. But yeah, this is freaking cute. It feels like such nice quality. It's double lined on the front here. And then it's not on the back, but obviously that doesn't really matter at all. This could be a really sweet piece to dress up to go out in especially for like a little dinner where you want to be a little bit smarter but not too over the top. This is perfect. We're going to be flying through these items today because I want you guys to stay awake throughout this whole haul. So I grabbed these kind of like, I want to say they were called cheesecloth material trousers. They're in this gorgeous stone color and I'm obsessed with this over the summer. It looks unreal with a tan and I also think it looks so good with white. Hence why I'm going to pair these two together because these are super high-waisted and this is, as you can tell, a little crop top. So I think that they could work pretty well. So fingers crossed and let's just find out. <sighs> guys, I'm so so annoyed about these. So if you've shopped from Pretty Little Thing in the past, you may or may not know that sometimes they have a couple of like sizing issues, let's say, with their trousers. These are ridiculous. I picked them up in a 10, like I picked them up in my usual size, but they are so long. Like I cannot wear these at all. Not only are they like ridiculous here, like my feet are literally covered and I don't even think heels would sort that out. The crotch on this, and I know they're many be high-waisted, but trust me, like this is where I would wear them. The crotch is so low. Please tell me why. If you're a tall gal, these might be perfect for you. So if you have like a longer body, then these could be really good. But honestly, I would have to size down to like a six. And I haven't said that since I was like 12. <laughs> so 100%, if you do like the look of them, 100% size down. Like don't even stick to your true size. Size down once, if not twice. They are such nice quality and this elastic fits perfectly. Like it's very comfortable. These would be perfect for holiday. And I do think it is such a cute match with this top, but the fit of them is ridiculous like i've never seen anything like it so sticking with the trouser theme i picked these ones up because georgia picked them up in our pretty little thing haul that we did recently and they were unreal the only thing about them was that the waist was a little bit big so i have gone true to size in these so i'm hoping they're going to fit as nicely as they did on her but we shall see i would pair it with this top but i'm actually going to pair it with a little lace bralette that i have so i think that and some heels on holiday with a tan and maybe like a red lip or something could be such a good look so that's what i'm going to try on next i'm going to sneeze what do you guys do to stop your Self sneezing so I bite my tongue and it works every time. I know some people say pineapple but I literally don't see how that works in any way. Anyway, moving on to this item. Okay, I'm gonna throw it out there now. I think this is gonna be one of my favorite outfits in the entire whole week. 
Am I gonna regret saying that? I feel like I won't. Like, I'm obsessed with what this looks like, especially paired with this little lace bralette. This is just one that I had to hand. This is from Rebellious. They're double lined, so they are not see-through in any way. Like, I'm really impressed with the quality of these. They're 100% worth the price, and actually, from what I remember, they aren't that expensive for what they are. To break it up a little bit, I have paired it with the belt that I showed you guys on the jeans. This is gonna be coming up in a haul later on in the week, so you're gonna have to wait to find out where this is from. Again, the trousers are quite long, but they are a perfect length. Like, this is what I mean by wanting trousers to be the right length to wear heels with because when I stand on my tiptoes they just hit the floor but even flat form sandals would work perfectly and I actually have some to show you that I picked up from Pretty Little Thing so they could look really cute with this outfit because again they're also white. I honestly just feel like I'm ready to be on holiday like I'm ready to be in Greece or somewhere like that with my little tan cocktail in hand. I'd give anything to be in that situation right now. But yeah, really impressed with these. 100% recommend them if you are on the lookout for white trousers as well. Next, I'm moving on to something that is not me at all. And I don't know what made me pick this up. I think it was just how unreal the model looked online. And I'm kind of doing that thing where I'm hoping it's just going to look the same on me, which it probably won't. But never mind. <laughs> so I picked up a suit. Don't ask me when I'm going to be wearing this because I haven't got a clue. I'm kind of thinking like any event in the summer, this is such a nice colour for it. And the way that they styled it online looked so good. And I actually have the trainers they paired it with. I think that's actually the only thing that made me buy it. But anyway, as you can tell, it's like this gorgeous blush pink colour. Like I say, not usually me at all. But I am trying to introduce a little bit more colour into my wardrobe. And if this isn't the right way of doing it, then I don't know what is. Okay, I don't hate this. But I am kind of looking at it thinking, where are you ever going to wear this in your life? I mean, the quality feels really good. Like, it feels really nice and lightweight, which is obviously perfect for this time of year. I did size up in the blazer. If you want it to be a little bit oversized, you don't have to size up. Like, this is made to fit like this anyway. So I definitely could have done with going true to size. But these paired together, and this as an outfit, is so cute. And I wish I had the confidence to just rock it and walk down the street as if no one's going to look at me. But I just don't, I'm not really getting that vibe. <laughs> I do love the concept of it. And like I say, the quality is great so if this is your kind of style then 100% I recommend this so yeah I do like it I just don't love it for me personally like it's not my typical day-to-day -day style so I'm not sure I'm going to be keeping this but I don't know let me know what you guys think down below in the comments okay so coming away from the kind of work office environment and going straight into travel attire obviously summer is here and people are going on loads of holidays I don't know about you guys but one of my favorite outfits to choose when I'm going on holiday is my airport outfit because I know it's just going to be like 10 out of 10 comfort because that is what I go for I don't understand how some people like put on makeup wear heels like you know when you see people walking around the airport in heels and i'm like i'm sitting here in my socks and slides not really caring what i look like right now how do you have time or effort to wear heels on a plane i don't know each their own but this is my kind of airport outfit so i have already got a jumper like this but the pretty little thing is white this one is black but i only picked it up because i saw that what i've bought to pair with it was paired with this jumper online and i really liked what it looked like as a little tracksuit set and then i picked up these which i actually grabbed a pair of these a long time ago in one of my really early hauls on my channel so i saw them in gray and i grabbed them because as i'm sure you guys know whether i I'm going on holiday or not I'll probably still be in joggers and you can just never have too many in your collection so these are the ones that I got they match the jumper because they have the pretty little thing embroidered here as well they're also the same kind of ash grey and honestly guys if you've not tried pretty little thing joggers where have you been and what have you been doing? They are the best fit ever and they have like a drawstring waist but it's hidden inside so you can really cinch your waist in. I'll show you when I try these on. I just really like what they look like together and like I say, just the perfect airport outfit. Pair with some trainers or socks and slides. I know it's a crime but comfort is key when I'm going on holiday. <laughs> okay, this is literally me in an outfit like summed up. I mean, I know I'm kind of giving off like convict vibes and I've just come out of prison but in kind of a cute way so I'm getting away with it. I hope. I just love this. Honestly, it's the most comfortable thing you could ever put on your body. This jumper is always my go-to. I picked this up in a large because if you guys know me, you know I love anything oversized, especially when traveling because it's comfort. But obviously when it is a little bit colder here in the UK because summer doesn't mean heat here. If you don't live here, you might not know how our summers work. So it's basically like one day of sun or maybe two and then you get like a bit of false hope that you're going to have a third day of sun and then it just rains for like five days. So we need jumpers in the summer. Also, like I mentioned, these joggers are the best fitting joggers on the market. I absolutely love them. I just fully cinch my waist in with the drawstring detail and I love the like effortless fit of them because they're just so comfortable. And if it is a little bit warmer out and I need to leave the house, but I don't want to get out my joggers, I'll just pair like a cute crop top and it passes as acceptable to wear out the house. So these are perfect. And like I say, you can never have too many of them. Yeah, highly recommend these pieces. Absolutely love them. Already have like both of them in different colors, but Okay, you guys are literally going to kill me because this is ridiculous and I definitely didn't need to pick these up. To be fair to me, I actually think that I put them in my basket and then saw the ones that I have on. So I meant to take them out, 
but I didn't. So now I have two pairs of grey joggers. Sorry. But these are really cute. They are a slightly different shape. I mean, that's how I'm going to justify it to myself, but they are literally the same thing. Apart from the fact that these have the pretty little thing in this like multicolored text down the side, I'm just going to throw it on literally with this jumper purely so you guys can see how they fit because obviously it's exactly the same thing. It's another pair of grey joggers. We don't need to talk that much about it. Let's just try them on. These are how they fit. Again, obsessed. Like you can draw your waist in completely at the top here. Sometimes they can look a little bit unflattering. So being able to draw your waist back in and giving yourself a little bit more shape is perfect. This detail as well is so adorable and it's giving me like 90s vibes, which I'm definitely here for. But yeah, like I said before, they're grey joggers. We can't talk too much about them. So let's move on to some more exciting items. Okay, so I'm wondering what to go for next. I think we're going to move on to some dresses because then I have so much swimwear to get through, which I'm really excited about. But let's start with this one. So if you did see my Pretty Little Thing haul with Georgia, you would have seen that she picked up the orange version of this dress. Now, we were talking about a white one and we also said that they do them in so many other colours, which I could have sworn they did but they don't. Because when I went on there, this was the white one that they had, but it's like this floral pattern. And I actually saw Aisha wear this to a wedding recently. She looked unreal, so I picked it up anyway. I mean, this wouldn't usually be a print that I would put on myself, but I just love the style of dress so much, and I cannot imagine myself pulling off that orange like Georgia did, so I didn't want to do it to myself. You guys would have seen how this fit on her. She looked unreal in it, so I'm just going to try this on, and fingers crossed it has the same kind of effect. We'll see. Oh my god, love. I was not expecting to like this on me at all. I'm obsessed with it. I think it looks really nice as well with like all the gold jewellery that I've got going on. Because obviously it is quite a girly dress, but just adding like quite big, bold and statement jewellery kind of dresses it down a little bit for me. I don't know, it just makes it a little bit more my style. But this is so comfortable. You guys know I absolutely love this neckline at the moment and this is really doing it for me. It's so super flattering. It is a little bit of a statement piece, but like I did mention, Aisha did wear this to a wedding and I think it is the perfect wedding guest attire. And there really is so much you can do with it. Honestly, this would never have been my style but you can dress it down and make it a lot less girly so i'm very happy with this i just wish they did it in plain white because it would honestly be insane i will leave the orange link down below as well because it is such a nice color too and me and g were saying that these dresses would be something you would find in zara i definitely thought that this would be a piece that i'd send back but i'm not second guessing it anyway let's move on to the next dress which is definitely a little bit more of me okay so we're back with the same sort of neckline but this just looked so good on the model and this color is something that i wear over summer or on a holiday when i have a little bit more of a tan but it is quite a standard dress it's just going to be an easy one to throw on with some simple heels and accessorize it really easily and you're good to go so it's going to be another versatile piece and i'm just going to try it on and we can see how it fits so i do really like this and i think that the color is unreal however i ordered a dress from there which hasn't showed up and i think it's because it's now out of stock i'm going to leave the website image on screen now so you can see what i'm talking about because it's just so nice and i'm kind of missing that one and i wish that this one was that one because I'd probably keep the white one over this. I mean, this is absolutely stunning and what it's doing for my figure, I'm not mad at. Like, where's this waist come from? And again, the top half is just ridiculously flattering. Feels like really nice quality. This whole part is like double lined and it's also double lined over your chest area so you don't need to worry there. But yeah, I'm very pleasantly surprised and I actually love this. I picked up this cohort. I absolutely love a cohort, especially when the pieces are like this and you compare them individually with like loads of other items. You just get your money's worth, do you know what I mean? So I've seen these for the longest time on pretty little thing and they never get old like they're so easy to style in so many different ways so the bottom half to this cord is this gorgeous midi skirt i honestly want to say this was like 12 pounds or something ridiculous and this is heavy like it feels like such nice material it's also double lined but the thing that made me pick this up is that it's this ruche detail so it has this ruching all the way down the side these are so flattering so yeah that is the bottom half and then the top half is just really simply this little crop top i'd pair something like this with the gray joggers that i showed you earlier it's just really versatile attire when everybody needs a little staple like this in their wardrobe so i am obviously going to pair them together as a little i would say going out outfit i'd more likely dress something like this up but you could easily pair it with trainers if you did want to casual it down a bit but let's try it on and we can talk about it a little bit more i'm so annoyed with this piece because i absolutely love it i think it looks unreal on it's exactly what i was hoping for and i feel really comfortable in it but it has a stain on it i've literally just put this on and there is a stain here which just proves that somebody else has tried this on before sent it back dirty and now i've got it which is kind of grossing me out a little bit but do you 
see what I mean by how flattering this is? I know I mentioned this in quite a few of my videos, but this would also look insane if you are pregnant because this material is so flattering to baby bumps. Like when I see people rocking cohorts when they have a cute little baby bump going on, I just think they look insane. So yeah, I am really happy with it. It's just a shame about this lovely little stain, which I actually have no idea what it is. So I'm just gonna move on to the next item. This is another piece that you'll recognize if you saw mine and George's video. I tried on the nude version of this dress and I absolutely loved it. And you guys seem to love it too. But I wanted to pick up the white version. So in case you haven't seen that video, I will of course try this on so you guys can see how it fits. But I'm telling you now that I'm already gonna be obsessed with it. Here is what it looks like on and like I thought, I'm obsessed with it. Again, it has the same kind of ruching detail that the cohort that I showed you has. So it's just so flattering for your figure. But the main thing that I'm thinking for this dress is if you're a bride-to-be and you're having your hen do, this would be the perfect dress for you to wear because you'd stand out. Everyone would know that you're gonna be the bride. This could definitely be an option for that, but obviously I'm not a bride-to-be yet. So there's no ring on this finger, <clears throat> Brad. But otherwise I do really like it. I was literally just about to move on to the next item, but then I remembered how good this looks from the back. So this is just how flattering it is behind everything about this dress I love. It's like my best friend in a dress. But yeah, anyway, now I'm actually gonna move on to the next item. So like I mentioned at the start, Pretty Little Thing have the most insane swimwear out at the moment. They have so much to offer. But they just have gorgeous like full on outfits. So they have a bikini that matches to a kimono or matches to like a maxi skirt. I've picked up a couple of those and I can't wait to get into them. But we're gonna start off with something a little bit more tame, shall we say. So I have a little bit of a bone to pick with them about this swimsuit because it came in one size. Bearing that in mind, this is the size of the top. That is honestly smaller than the tissues that I'm using for my hay fever right now. Tell me why that is so small. That being said, it does have quite a lot of stretch to it, so I'm just hoping that this is gonna fit, or at least cover everything that I need it to. But then these are the bottoms. How small are they? Like, they literally look like a baby's nappy. They are this gorgeous, like, high-waisted detail, and Jess Hunt was wearing this. She was modeling it online, and I think her figure's amazing. I think it's super natural, and she looks unreal and everything, so I'm hoping that they're gonna surprise me and actually fit quite nicely. But I went for an all-white bikini because I also picked up this white mesh maxi skirt. This feels really nice. The only thing that I'm not sure about is the waistband because it just looks a little bit cheap. If my camera actually wants to focus, then you guys will be able to see it. There we go. It just feels a little bit cheap, like I'm not gonna lie about it. But this mesh detail is so soft and it's also really flowy, so I'm hoping it's just gonna be really flattering. I'm just gonna throw this all together and we can see if those fit. Here's what the bikini looks like on its own and I'm surprised that it fits. It was a little bit of a squeeze to get in here, I'm not gonna lie, but now I'm in, I feel quite secure. I am, however, just gonna throw this over the top and we can see how it looks like all paired together. So I'm standing quite far back, but this is kind of what the outfit looks like. Yeah, I really like this. But this is definitely the most tame thing that I bought out of the swimwear, so I'm gonna move on to the next items. However, I did pick up another bottoms option to this bikini, so I'm gonna quickly show you that and then we can move on to the more kind of out there stuff, shall we say. Unfortunately, with this item, it turns out that I ordered two sets of trousers instead of the trousers and the top so that's definitely my bad but this is a set was so cute and again would be perfect for like beach clubs and stuff like that but I'm sure you guys have seen these absolutely everywhere these are some of their like crochet trousers and I just think paired with white bikinis like the one I have on now these can look unreal I mean don't get me wrong the tan lines not cute. So I'm just going to pair these bottoms with the white bikini top and we can see what that looks like. But I will, of course, link the top down below if you do want this as a set. These are definitely another item that I'm pleasantly surprised by. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about them. But definitely paired with this high-waisted bikini underneath. I love what they look like. They also did have this set in black, which I actually think for like festivals and certain holidays that you may go on with like your girls or something, you could easily get away with wearing that out in the evening. They fit so nicely and they just cling to your body in like the best way. The one thing I would say is that the drawstring is like like ridiculously long. I don't know why. I've honestly tied this round me twice and then I've put it in a bow at the front. So yeah, definitely recommend these if you are on the lookout for some netted trousers. Okay, this I don't think you're ready for. I don't think I'm ready for it. I don't know why I picked this up. Something came over me and I was feeling very, very bold, but it is gorgeous nonetheless. So this is the first kind of like set that I picked up in terms of swimwear. So I picked up this one piece, which looks gorgeous. And then it has this kimono with it, which I thought would be perfect to pair with any bikini. This kimono would look so good with this white one underneath but obviously these two together is such a statement so I wanted to give it a go just out of interest so let's try this on and see how it makes me feel so I thought I would try this on first of all with the white bikini and love like I think they look unreal together this is literally like a wedding train but like, honestly it's longer than some brides trains on their dress so definitely stay true to size but yeah this is what it looks like with white underneath I think even with a one piece it would look absolutely stunning so I'm obsessed with this so far but now I am going to try it on with the red one piece that it comes with and we can see how over the top and extra this is about to be so here's the one piece and I actually love this but honestly this paired with the kimono 
Who do I think I am? Like, do you know what I mean? Where would I go in this? I feel way too over the top and extra. But at the same time, I'm really kind of feeling it. <laughs> I think these two honestly pair so nicely together and I love red. I just don't wear it enough. This is cute, but if I had a girl's holiday plan, 100% I'd keep both items because you could get some unreal picks in this. But sadly, I don't. So this one's going to have to go back to the shop. So obviously, I said to you guys that I picked up a couple of these little sets. This being the next one. Now, I'm way more obsessed with this pattern. I think that it's absolutely stunning and this is so like instagram vibes if you go on holiday and you want to get a great pick this is like the perfect thing to do it in so the kind of accessory to this one is a little maxi skirt and i'm just going to wait to try this one on because it has gorgeous details to it that i'm just not going to be able to do any favors by showing you but then the bikini is this gorgeous like really over the top frilly one again it has high-waisted bottoms which are also high legged so these are right up my street but yeah i am just going to have to look on the website image again because i have no idea how you tie this Right now it's just one long bit of material, so I'm gonna have to try and figure that out and I'll be back. I've been staring at the website image for about five minutes now trying to figure out how they have tied this top because it can't be this way, like one wrong move, I'm out. So I'm just gonna stand here very still and quickly talk about these items so I can move on to the next thing. But this whole set together is stunning. Like honestly, it's just for photo opportunities. For me personally, like that's what I'd wear it for. It is definitely not a practical swimsuit in any way, shape or form. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So if you are interested, then obviously it will be linked down below. I would love a one piece in this print paired with this skirt. That would be so gorgeous, but also that little bit more practical. So I picked up another little bikini. So this is what the top looks like. I absolutely love this two-tone effect. They also had this exact design but in like a hot pink and i want to say like more of a burgundy color which is also really really nice the top is like more of a sports bra kind of style and it has a scoop neck and then the bottoms are again i want to say they're high-waisted yeah these are more of a high-waisted fit but as you can probably tell the thing i love most about them was the high leg aspect to them so obviously they have the same kind of design on them and it's this like really nice ribbed material also they're double lined so fingers crossed it's not going to be see-through in any way but i'm intrigued to see how this one is going to fit on my body type so let's just try it on so here's what it looks like on i love the high leg detail again i think that this is such a flattering cut for my body shape yeah sadly i have one last swimwear piece to show you but i think this is going to be one of my faves because it's just going to be a really good staple so this is the final swimwear piece that i picked up like i said it is just a really simple one as you can probably tell it has the high leg detail which i absolutely love but the thing that i was most drawn to was this belt detail because it has an elastic waistband and that is just going to pull you in and flatter you in such a nice way i'm just going to try this on and we can see how it fits i love this this is definitely one of my favorite swim pieces that i've picked up just because it's realistically one that i would wear the most it's definitely a little bit more out there than other swimming costumes that you can pick up on the market like this neckline is quite low and obviously it's very high cut here but like i say i think that this is so flattering for my body shape it's not double lined and i was a little bit concerned that it was going to be see-through but it doesn't seem to be but yeah i'm very happy with this and i'm 100 going to keep this one out of all the swimwear pieces finally i have one accessory to show you and then i've got a couple of pairs of shoes which i'm just going to add the website image for but the only accessory I picked up this time is a cute little handbag. I just really love the design of it. It's very, very simple. It does, however, have an across the body strap that you can attach though, which is what I like most about it because I like to wear bags like this across my body. So yeah, this was, I want to say around £30, which I did think was quite steep, but it does feel like super nice quality. So I don't really mind paying that price when you know something's going to last. And then finally onto the shoes that I picked up. So these are the first pair. I actually don't own any pairs of wedges. I don't think I've ever owned a pair in my life, but I saw a while ago, Georgia was raving about how good Pretty Little Thing wedges were. So I went for this pair, mainly because I saw that they paired these with a lot of the outfits on the models online. So yeah, they are the wedges that I went for. They did have a lot of styles on the website. So if this isn't quite your vibe, then definitely still check them out. Like I say, you might find something that suits you a little bit more. And then the final pair of shoes I mentioned earlier, these are just some white espadrille style lace up sandals. I honestly love shoes like this. I get so much wear out of them in the summer because like I say, they do give you that height because they are like a flat form. But with them being flat, they are literally the most comfortable shoe to wear and also with the wedges for like beach clubs these are like the perfect shoes to go for because you're going to be a lot more comfortable but yeah sadly that is the final thing that i have to show you guys in this haul okay so that is it for day three of haul week make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss out on day four i will also leave day one and two linked in the description so far we have had nasty gal and oh Polly. they were some good videos so make sure you go back and check them out and see what i picked up from those brands so i really hope you enjoy tomorrow's haul but as for today i'm going to wrap this video up here so thank you guys so much for watching as always and i will see you tomorrow in the next video bye guys